friends, it's Cindy Brumbaugh from CindyLeeBeeDesigns.com, independent stamping up demonstrator. Today I'd like to show you this masculine birthday card I made using the Truly Tailored Bundle and the True Gentleman Designer Series paper found in the Occasions catalog. It also has this cute little bow on it made out of the corduroy ribbon that's also in the Occasions catalog. Now this card is going out to my daughter-in-law's boss. She needed a birthday card and this was a perfect one. It's not mushy, it's not sentimental, just a nice um, masculine card with bold colors, uh, chocolate chip, tranquil tide, knight of navy, some neutrals of crumb cake, and very vanilla. So to make this card, I used the designer series paper that was left over when I made my Chris cross pocket card. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you take a look to how to make this card. So whenever I made the template for this, as you can see, the upper right and left corners cut a triangle out. Well, I had them sitting on my desk and I thought that's a perfect way to make a card here. So I'm gonna show you in this video how I use these triangles and how I mounted them on this card to have a nice pleasant uh, visual effect on it. And then we're gonna actually make a brand new card using the same paper in the same design concept. And I'm also going to show you how to make this quick and cute, perfectly tailored bow tie. So to get started, as I said, the truly tailored stamp set, birthday, general congratulations, celebrate in style. Maybe for Valentine's Day, you could send this to your sweetheart, you're a fox. You've got a dad and a classy kind of guy. It comes bundled at a 10% discount with the tailored tag punch. The tailored tag punch, so those are bundled together in the occasions catalog. So to start out, I'm gonna make a new card, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be using colors found in the designer series paper. So this is Tranquil Tide, and it's five and a half by eight and a half. So a half a sheet of your cardstock, five and a half by eight and a half, and we'll score it at four and a quarter. And don't worry about the measurements for the card. I always put the measurements and the materials that I use for the cards on my blog post, cindyleebdesigns.com. So we're gonna score this here, and then our card is gonna turn into a portrait-sized, A2 sized card. So to make the front of this card, the easiest way I found is to take a piece of very vanilla that would be the size that you would put on the front panel of a card that has an eighth inch border all around the edges. And that would be four inches by five and a quarter. So I took a piece of very vanilla. Now that'll also be the very vanilla that'll go on the inside. So we're just gonna tuck it away in here. So what I did is I took the two triangles. You can see I uh, <laughs> made a video that didn't turn out. So what I did is I just took the triangles and lined them up with the edges of the very vanilla. So you can see I just, there's no, paper showing from the side, but that gives you the template of the triangles. So I took these two leftover triangles, put one here, I snipped off the little pieces of the uh, triangle tip that were there, and then that gave me a nice stable thing, and then I just put some adhesive on the back of that, and then I'm going to put it on, no I'm not, shame on me. We have to put this designer border here, this band that goes down through the um, middle that borders each side of the triangle. So to do that, before we place it onto the card, I just took two pieces of matching cardstock, which would have been Tranquil Tide and Knight of Navy, and then I just put some adhesive on my smaller strip. This strip is half inch wide and about seven and a half inches. And then I just took this half inch tranquil tide and I put it on a three quarter inch wide Knight of Navy. Now the nice thing about the designer series paper that coordinates so well with all the stamping up colors and inks is that you can just use any kind of designer paper and pull the colors out. So what I did was I just pulled out the Tranquil Tide and the Knight of Navy. So once you have these triangles adhered onto that panel, you're going to be laying this middle divider across there. So what I did is I just put some snail across my strip and then I just lined it up. All kinds of things around. I just lined it up and made it go over the middle 
of the panel that's going on the front. And then I'm gonna have to get this, because I had some tape on the back of it. And then you simply just turn it over and you're going to trim off the excess here. This gives you a nice, clean border with everything matching. And then we just come over here, handy little paper snips, and we just get those edges cleared. There we go. So now we have this panel that is perfectly trimmed to fit onto our A2 size card. So I'm gonna put this onto my Tranquil Tide card base and we have a really nice um, color contrast between the Tranquil Tide and the Knight of Navy and it's all in these different um, patterns in the designer series paper. So the next thing I wanted to do is put in some of the crushed curry. So what I did is I took this truly tailored punch here and I punched out a piece of the, um, using a piece of crushed curry, I punched out the tag. So then I stamped the image here looking sharp and I stamped that on a piece of very vanilla and I punched it out with the tailored tag punch as well. Then I was like, oh, okay, no, that doesn't fit on there. So what I did is I just took this, my paper snips, and I went right along the edge of the stamped image. It's very easy to fussy cut when it's a nice straight line. So I just trimmed right along the border, trying to get just the same amount of very vanilla showing along the line. There we go. And then I put some adhesive on there and then I mounted it to my crushed curry. So we just get a nice crushed curry border around our whole image. I see that I have a little bit cut off. I, I get a little particular about everything being trimmed just right. So there, and you usually end up seeing if it's not trimmed real tight because when you put it on that border. So I'm just gonna snip it a little bit more. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna get a better border there. Okay, so then I went to put it onto my card and I said, hmm, that looks a little plain. So what I did is I took a Knight of Navy piece of scrap and I used the stitched shapes framelits. I used the next to the largest stitched frame oval and I just ran it through the big shot and then I had a nice border behind the uh, looking sharp tag. And then I took some dimensionals and then I lost the dimensional somewhere on my desk. Where are they? Where are my, oh, there they are under the stamp set. There we go. So what I did is I took some, these dimensionals are my favorite thing in the world. So I put some dimensionals on the back of my tag. This truly, ta ta this tailored tag punch you'll be carrying over with some fun new stuff. And so we just are going to put that right on the middle. And I plopped off the crushed curry off the navy and I'm also for some more added dimension to this card because it's it's essentially kind of a plain card. It's got a lot of layers but not a bunch of uh, embellish embellishments on it. So what I did is I just layered some more dimensionals just pop those little hexa hexagons. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so then I just popped this right off the front of the card. So you've got the eyeglasses and the eyeglasses. You've got the navy, the navy. You've got the Tranquil Tide ink, the Tranquil Tide on the card. I always try to do either Make sure each color I've used on a card, I've either doubled it or tripled it on the card. So now we're going to do the inside of the card. And what I did for the inside of the card is I had a piece of very vanilla and it's four by five and a quarter. Again, you'll find your me the measurements on my blog. And then I just took and I made sure I had an eighth of an inch border around all sides. 
and put that on the inside. And just to jazz up the inside, I wanted to get some crushed curry in there. I stamped the Wishing You a Dapper Day from the stamp set with a little mustache. I stamped that and I cut it out with one of the ovals that fit around it. And then I used the layering oval scallop that's also in the ovals layering oval set. And then I just put the crushed curry. So whenever you look at the inside of the card, you see Tranquil Tide, you see the native Knight of Navy and the crushed curry. And then I, and plus it's so much easier to just stamp this and cut it out than try to get it straight sometimes. So what I did is I just put that on the inside of the card. So that's a real simple card using up the scraps of triangles if you've made the crisscross pocket card. Now I wanna show you how I made an easy way to make a cute little bow. So what I did is I stamped, today is your day, celebrate in style, and I stamped it on a stitched shape oval and that's the next to the largest sti stitched shape oval so I made my sentiment on there stamping it and then I took a paper punch a hole punch and I took a hole punch and I punched a hole in the middle of it in the middle of the lower half underneath the sentiment so now I have this hole here then I took some of my knight of navy ribbon and I just made a circle with it made a loop so I have this loop it's together with the glue dot or your adhesive would um, not glue but maybe your tear and tape a little piece of that and then I have what's going to become my bow but it's kind of hard to tie this 3 8 inch corduroy ribbon so what I did this is a little trick um, I figured out but then I saw some a lot of people had it on their blog and what I did is I put some adhesive on the back of the piece of paper I want to put the bow on in this case it's the oval put some adhesive here then I'm gonna take a strip of the coordinating ribbon that matches it, and I'm going to put that one side through the hole. See how it goes from one side to the other. I'm going to stick the other edge in the hole. So now you have two pieces on the back side of your sentiment oval, and then you have this loop here, and then simply take this loop that you made for the bow, squish it together in the middle, then slip it through that loop that you made. Okay, so now, I hope you can see this on the video, you have this loop, you have these two pieces on the back, it tends to slip here, you have these two tails hanging on the back, and you're going to just tighten those tails you're gonna have your loops there. You're just gonna pull and tighten these tails on the back. So you're tightening these tails and you can see where the middle is here. And you can see on the back that I have these little tails. And I can just tighten, tighten the tail on the top, put it down with the adhesive, and you can see that it makes a nice tight belt right around the middle of your two loops on your bow. And then you just maybe take your scissors or your paper piercer or pencil or something that's on your desk handy and you just tidy up your bow so that you have the same amount on each side and puff it up and then you'll see on the back you have these two tails that are hanging out okay so then you just adhere one down to the adhesive you put on and then adhere the other piece and then you just come in here you snip off the part that would hang over and you have a perfectly tailored bow. Now, because this bow has a little bit of um, dimension on the back of it, it's a little lumpy, what I did is I then put dimensionals on the side of the bow. Sometimes I'm very generous with my dimensionals and sometimes I'm a little stingy. But I put um, the dimensionals around the bow because then the dimensionals give you enough room that the puffiness of the bow is not going to um, be wrinkled on the front of your card. So you have this perfect little bow made with a perfect little middle on here and then you can just adhere it to a scalloped oval that's the next size up. I love these layering scallops and circles and the squares. They just are so nice. They have such a nice tight um, scallop border around the squares, circles, and the ovals. Definitely a collection that I'm glad I have. So what I did on this 
sentiment. If I was putting on this card, I used chocolate chip as the scalloped oval, and then I put tranquil tide as my ink, and then I used Knight of Navy as my other color. So as you can see, now you have this cute little sentiment that goes on the front, and these, this little bow tie mimics the bow ties on there. I mean, you could certainly put this on here if you want, but the looking sharp goes great, great with the eyeglasses on here. So in this video, you guys learned how to use up your leftover scraps from your crisscross pocket, and then we learned a neat way to make a bow real easily by pulling it through to the other side. I hope this gave you some tips that you can do to make this bow. If you do use that tip somewhere, you can always send me a photo or text me a picture. I'd love to, love to see it. So if you need to know any of the measurements or the materials that I've used to make this card, this um, truly tailored bundle with the tailored tag punch and the True Gentleman Designer Series paper, just visit my blog, cindyleebdesigns.com. If you have any questions, you can email me at cindyleeb at gmail.com, or you can call or text me at 724-323-2296. Thanks for buzzing by, friends.